Hello, Dr. Joe here of the drjoe.com and the 2020 forum.com. So, what have I got in my hands here? Well, inside this packet, I've got table sugar, granulated sugar that we use every day for cooking, right? So, we've got that. So, what is inside that table sugar? Well, the first thing you need to know is that it is refined. That's the first thing. Secondly, what's inside it officially is called sucrose. Now, sucrose is a disaccharide, meaning it contains two simple sugars inside it. So what are these uh, simple sugars? Well, we've got glucose on the one hand, and then we've also got fructose on the other hand, okay? They are equally divided inside that table sugar. Now, in the last video, we learned that fructose is the main culprit for our cardiometabolic problems. And in this video, uh, we're going to find out the seven reasons, you know, seven problems that are caused by fructose consumption. So I really want you to pay attention uh, because uh, you're going to learn one or two things uh, in this video. And towards the end of the video, I'm going to give you an overview of how you can deal with the problem. But before then, we're going to start off with the mechanism uh, through which all of these problems come about, how fructose does damage to our body, how fructose makes us sick. Uh, we're going to cover all of that uh, in this video. So let's start off with the mechanism uh, behind all of this. So uh, now, you've already learned that sucrose is made up of glucose and fructose. So uh, what about the glucose component of uh, the uh, sucrose. Well, here we go. The reason why glucose is not so much a problem is because all organs, okay, will use glucose for their energy needs. The muscles, the liver, and the brain in particular, the brain loves using glucose. It can use it all day long. So that is the, the first thing why uh, glucose is relatively better than fructose. Okay, so if you were to have a choice between glucose and fructose, you should choose glucose because uh, to some extent, it is relatively not as harmful as fructose is because, you know, all organs will, will use uh, glucose. So what about fructose then? Let's look at what happens uh, with fructose. So the first thing is that, as you can see here, um, with fructose usage, the liver is the main organ where uh, fructose is metabolized. There's a small usage in the kidney, uh, in the kidneys, uh, the, the muscles and the fat tissue, but a very small percentage. Uh, the liver is the main organ where fructose is metabolized, which means it is very easy to overload the liver, okay? Because when the liver asks the brain, uh, brain, do you want some of my fructose? The brain is like, nope, I'm not interested. I cannot use it, so uh, please don't send your fructose to me. <laughs> okay? Uh, remember that glucose uh, is used by all organs, and the brain in particular likes to use it. So, uh, why is the liver the main protocol where fructose is metabolized? So, here you can see the reason. The liver has the enzyme machinery to deal with fructose, okay? That's the reason. Uh, all of our organs are lacking in this enzyme machinery. So the liver has the machinery and is happy to deal with it. Uh, like I said earlier on, the brain is not interested in using uh, fructose. But give it glucose and it's very happy to, uh, to have it. So what happens to the fructose then? What does the liver do with it? So let's look at this. Well, what happens is that uh, the liver will convert uh, the fructose to uh, glycogen, which is stored in the liver, okay? It will convert it to glycogen and it will convert it to glucose as well. The liver will also convert the fructose to triglycerides and fatty acids, okay? And some of it is also converted to lactate which the muscles will happily use, okay? So that is what the liver does 
with the fructose. So now let's look at the problems, the cardiometabolic problems that uh, fructose unleashes uh, in our body. So here we go. Problem number one. Problem number one is, we talked about this last week, so this is not news to you, uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver. Okay, so uh, what happens then is the liver is imp impregnated with so much fat, uh, it's unable to do its job. Okay, and that also will progress if unresolved at this stage, it will progress to what we call NASH, NASH, which is non alcoholic steatohepatitis. Okay, so that is problem number one. Uh, unleashed by uh, fructose. Problem number two. Problem number two is here. Problem number two is leptin resistance. Okay? Uh, it causes uh, lept leptin resistance and that leads to weight gain and if left unresolved will lead to obesity. Okay, that's problem number two. Let's move on to problem number three. Problem number three by fructose, uh, fructose side effects in the body is insulin resistance, okay? Uh, and of course, that will lead to type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure, okay? So insulin resistance is problem number three and this one is particularly important because uh, like we just said, it causes uh, type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure. So, uh, and that's the reason you notice that lots of people who've got uh, high blood pressure also have diabetes and vice versa, okay? So that's problem number three. Problem number four is uh, increased production of uric acid, okay? And that will inhibit the production of nitric oxide, which we love because nitric oxide helps to relax our blood vessels. The net result of uh, very little production of nitric oxide because it's been inhibited by uric acid that is produced from fructose metabolism is high blood pressure, okay? So that's another reason why uh, using sugar is not good because you've got several ways in which uh, the fructose uh, metabolism will lead to high blood pressure as a complication. So that's, that's uh, the, the net effect of that. But also, more importantly, when you have lots of uric acid being produced from fructose metabolism, you can have gout, okay? Gout will be an issue, okay? So that's problem number four. Problem number four. Problem number five. Let's, let's look at problem number five. Problem number five is high VLDL uh, triglycerides, okay? Uh, the VLDL, they are the, the proteins that carry triglycerides around the body. So you're going to have high levels of that because you're making lots of fatty acids from the fructose metabolism. So, uh, and that will lead to plaques in our arteries, okay? Triglycerides are nasty. They're nasty. I know we talk about cholesterol most of the time, but triglycerides are just as bad, if not worse, okay? So, uh, problem number six are caused by fructose or sugar consumption is um, heart disease and strokes, okay? That's a direct result from the triglycerides. And um, so, you know, you got another reason there why you need to slow down on your sugar consumption. Another reason why sugar is bad for you is, uh, let's look at problem number seven, is uh, this one is generic. Uh, so you have from the fructose metabolism that's going to generate lots of free radicals which will lead to chronic inflammation and chronic inflammation is the foundation of a lot of chronic diseases okay so chronic inflammation and that will also lead to cell damage DNA damage okay and the next thing that also happens is uh, fructose or sugar consumption will lead to turning off of anti-inflammatory genes, okay? We need the anti-inflammatory genes to help us deal with inflammation.
but when fructose consumption from our sugar usage uh, turns off those genes we are running into problems okay so how do you tackle this problem of fructose uh, consumption leading to cardiometabolic problems well i'm just going to give you an overview of how to deal with it okay it's not it's going to be succinct uh, we're not going to go into very fine details so now i like to look at uh, this problem from three angles the first one is the volume uh, being consumed the second one is the speed of delivery and the third is the form in which uh, the fructose is being delivered so uh, in terms of the volume now you are allowed 24 to 30 grams of table sugar usage per day for your energy needs okay uh, 24 to 30 grams of sugar per day but I like to lean more towards the 24 grams or even less okay the, the less you use the better all right because you don't want to over flood your liver with too much fructose when you consume lots of table sugar so 24 grams equates to six uh, teaspoonful of uh, sugar per day so yes that is how much sugar you're allowed per day officially but personally i don't touch this stuff okay i don't use this at all and if you're someone who's got high blood pressure uh pre-diabetes or diabetes or any other cardiometabolic problem i will advise you don't touch this stuff seriously uh, i prefer to use sugar substitutes and i'm going to do a separate video on that in the coming weeks uh, you're going to see my best uh, sugar substitutes and I can tell you right off the bat that it's not Splendor that contains sucralose and it's not aspartame and it's not asulfame. So we can discount those straight away. So uh, sugar substitutes are my preferred alternatives to using refined sugar. Next is speed of delivery. Uh, we talked about this in the last video. You don't want fast delivery of uh, the uh, sugar or the fructose to your liver because when, once you do that fast delivery will overwhelm the liver and that's not good you want slow delivery and that's the reason why sugar sweetened beverages like iced tea uh, fruit juices sodas they're not ideal okay because when you consume those uh, uh, drinks then what will happen is the speed of delivery is going to be very fast and your, your liver is going to be overwhelmed with so much fructose being delivered too quickly and it just cannot handle it. Remember, other organs are not really interested in utilizing fructose, so the liver will be overburdened with uh, so much uh, fructose being delivered very quickly. So that's uh, problem number two or angle number two, uh, looking at how to deal with the problem. Now, the next angle is the uh, the form in which the uh, fructose is being delivered uh, to the liver now uh, i like to use uh, my sugar uh, or i have my fructose delivered uh, not freely okay but combined with something else and the best combination is sugar with fiber which is why i like to get my sugar needs for the day from fruits because in fruits uh, the sugar is bound to fiber and that's great because the fiber will help to slow the release of the sugar so the uh, sugar is released gradually so this third angle is related to angle number two which is the speed of delivery so try and get lots of your uh, sugar supply or your sugar needs for the day from fruits and it's also the reason why i'm not a big fan of just having smoothie with fruits only if you noticed in my smoothie recipes, I always have vegetables with the fruits because the fiber in the uh, vegetables along with the fiber in the fruits will help to slow down uh, the sugar absorption and the delivery to the liver. Okay, so that's just an overview of how to tackle the problem. This video is not specifically about how to cut down on your sugar intake. Uh, that's a subject for another video okay so uh, now the next video uh, that i'm going to be uh, releasing is uh, related to this what is this of course this is honey okay so between honey and sugar which is better <laughs> okay so that's going to be the subject of our next video 
So hopefully you got some value uh, from this video. If you did, please uh, give this video a thumbs up, okay? Give the video a thumbs up, please like the video. And also please share this video with everybody you know because, you know, sugar consumption is a worldwide problem and everybody is affected. So please uh, pass on this video. And of course, if you got any questions, any comments, please leave them down below. And I think that's about it in this video. Uh, until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.